Hello and welcome to Zoom In. This is the Amscope T340 Compound Light Microscope. It's a really nice microscope that can be purchased for as little as $349 at amscope.com. I've made an enhancement to it, and in this video, I'll tell you what's the nature of that upgrade, what is the cost of the upgrade, and what is the impact of that upgrade. So let's zoom in and check it out. The upgrade I made was to install plan objective lenses onto the microscope. As a set, they include the 4X, 10X, 40X, and 100X lenses. The set costs $185, and I've included the link below. Also, I've included links for 4, 10, and 20X individual plan lenses. You'll see that the lower objectives give a greater impact, and they're the cheapest. So talk about bang for the buck. To assess the lenses and to compare them to other lenses, I'll be using a slide containing a cross-section of trachea. This has really fine detail, which will be great for assessing the resolution of the lenses across the microscope field. The trachea is the windpipe, which allows movement of air into and out of the lungs. To orient you to what we're looking at, I created a simple schematic. In the upper left-hand corner, we see two rings, the inner pink ring representing the inner layer of the trachea, and the purple representing the outer purple layer, which kind of looks like a rocky or cobblestone road. The black box on the drawing shows the small section of the trachea that is actually in the micrograph. The inner lining of the trachea is the epithelium. The air we inhale and exhale is directly contained by the epithelium. The purple section that looks like a rocky or cobblestone road is cartilage. If you feel your trachea, you will feel horizontal ridges. That is the cartilage that prevents the trachea from collapsing on itself when we inhale. That's pretty cool. To make comparisons between scopes and lenses, I have to focus equally. So I use unique, highly detailed, memorable features to set the focus. This one I call Snoopy's nose. It contains of two dots, the nose and the snout, as Snoopy is looking to the left. These dots are in close proximity, really at about the limit of resolution. So I know I'm focused when I see these two separate dots, the nose and the snout of Snoopy. This image demonstrates why I wanted to upgrade. Here I focused on Snoopy's nose, and though it's at the right of the image, it's actually at the center of the microscope field. Now the clarity here is really quite impressive, but as we look to the left, as we move towards the outer edge of the field from A to B to C, the resolution drops substantially. The field curvature is accentuated when images are captured by digital devices, so the field appears flatter, but not perfect when you use your eyes through the oculars. Lenses on introductory and basic microscopes will tend to have this problem. This field curvature really is a result of how lenses are ground, and it's not an indication that the lenses were made carelessly. More advanced lenses contain additional elements that correct for this field curvature. Now, this results in a flatter or more planar field of focus. These plan objectives are more expensive, so what we want to know is, is it worth the price for the upgrade? So let's zoom in and see the difference between the plan lenses and the ones that come stock. Now we compare the images from the T340 using the standard 4X lens at top with the upgraded plan 4X lenses on the bottom. I'm centered and focused on Snoopy's nose and notice at how the focus changes as we move towards the edges from A to B to C and A prime to B prime to C prime. The plan lenses retain more clarity at the edges but the big lesson here is that the plan lenses do not create a perfectly flat field. They're better, but not perfect. Comparing the standard 10X lens with the plan 10X lens, we see once again that the plan lens at the bottom has a flatter field, but the difference is not as great near the edges as it was with the 4X lenses. And with the 40X objective lens, the performance of the plan lens is just marginally better than the standard lens. I can see differences in areas such as that indicated by the red arrows, but it requires some really close looking. 
From the moment I got the T340, I was really impressed by it. I thought it was a great microscope, but that the objectors were really holding it back. So the addition of the plan objective lenses has really made a great positive impact on the quality of the scope. Now the question is, how well will it compete against its big brother, the much more expensive T670 QPL? In short, it does really very well. So let's take a look. In the comparison of the scopes using the 4X lenses, the T670 at top appears to perform better. But if we look at the inset of Snoopy's nose, it appears that I focused a little better with the T670. So taking that into account, I'm going to say that the T670 performs only slightly better with the 4X objectives. When we look through the 10X lenses, it appears the upgraded T340 actually outperforms the T670Q. But when we look at the insets, the zoomed in image of what I call the chicken embryo, we see that I seem to have focused a little bit better with the T340. So again, it appears that the modified and upgraded T340 is performing really on par with the T670Q. And the T340 once again performs well with the 40X lens. I barely see any difference between the 40X lens performance of the standard T340, the upgraded T340, or the T670. And all of this is great news for prospective T340 buyers. So we see the upgrades to plan objectives at 4X and 10X having a really nice impact, and they only cost $23 and $39 respectively. Additionally, there's a 20X plan option for this microscope, and that costs $57. So I think those three would be really great enhancements if you have the T340 or thinking of buying the T340. So if you're thinking about upgrading to plan lenses, you should really ask yourself three questions. One is, do I often use the 4X, 10X, and if you have it, 20X objective lenses? Do you tend to look at the whole microscope field? And do you tend to take pictures with digital devices? If you answered yes to these questions, you're really going to benefit from getting plan lenses, especially the 4, 10, and 20X lenses. Now, plan lenses aren't going to help you very much if you're using high magnification and primarily looking right into the center of the field. If you're zeroing in on individual cells and you are zeroing in on individual bacteria, for example, you're really going to be using the center of the field to focus and standard lenses are going to do just fine. Additionally, we see that as we go higher in magnification, the impact of plan lenses becomes less and less. Finally, if you're taking pictures a lot, plan lenses really help because digital devices really enhance that field curvature. Our eyes do a pretty good job correcting for it. So if you're just looking straight through the objectives, you probably won't benefit nearly as much from the plan lenses. So I hope this was informative and thank you for watching.